We are going to that book of uh, Jude, chapter 1, verse 5. I want to help you to remember some things you already know. Remember that the Lord saved his people by bringing them out of the land of Egypt. But later he destroyed all those who did not believe. Now that's the word of God for us today. And the objective we are going to look at to demonstrate the necessity of reminding the saints of what they already know. That means what we've, we've, we've learned, something maybe right from your, your days of uh, Christianity, you already know the word of God, but we have to have that spirit that we, we have to be listening to the word of God every day so that we can have the more deeper knowledge Sometimes we can be weary in anything we are doing, but when you have the word of God in our life, as the word of God says in the book, I'm going to read the book of Romans, the book of Romans chapter, chapter 12, verse 2. It says, do not conform to the pattern of this world, but, it, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind. Then you will be able to text and approve what God's will is perfect god what god's will is is good and pleasing to the lord so that's the word of god we need to renew our mind we need we need to renew that our mind every time we we have to remember ourselves what we've already know what we've learned the next one please sir introduction Last week from verse four, we talked about the ungodly men who sneak into the church and how to beware of them. That's the false teachers. Today, we will focus on the first part of verse five, which Jude says, I want to help you remember some things you already know. No, that's the word of God for us. As Jude is telling us today that he, that thing, yes, we know, we know, we know that word of God very well. But God wants to remember us again as, as a child of God. That this means that there are some things that we must continue to remind to remind ourselves about, even though we already know them. So let us discuss some keys now. We need to hear biblical truth again and again, in order to apply them to our present situation. Therefore, one of the assignments of teachers of God's word is to remind people of God, the word of God they already know. These are the things our Bible study, you know, this is what we need to be listening to, this is what we need to be hearing every day. We must never get tired of hearing and study the truth about Jesus our savior, faith, law. Don't let us be wearied. Don't let us get tired. In anything we are doing, coming to Bible study, uh, Sunday service, coming to women's group, men's group. And these are the things just for us to renew our mind daily and to meditate to, the, to God's word. These are the things we need to do to remember ourselves. The things we've read in, we, we, we know before. But the Bible is telling us today that we should not get tired of hearing that word of God. We should not get weary of listening to the word of God. Personally, in your life, you should not get weary of not having your own personal devotion to God. That relationship between you and God, you must not get tired. Even when you are looking for something, even when God, God promises concerning your life is there. Don't get tired because the promises of God will never fail. And I want us to discuss um, a question right now. I just want our contribution. Pastor, can you go back, please? I, uh, the contribution, uh, I want us to give our own opinions about this. Why do we need constant reminder to the house, please? Why do we need constant reminder? Mm. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Um, I just want to add that because we have given our life to Christ does not mean that we are now 
completely uh, like we say we are uh, we are still in the world so um the spirit of god is in us but our flesh is still weak so we need that constant reminder that's the process of um, sanctification so we need that constant reminder constant uh, communion with god to help us and um, grow our spirit mass, so to speak yeah that's my contribution thank you Thank you, Sister Misha. That was good. Praise God. Hallelujah. Yeah. I just wanted to add to what Mason said. Yeah, I was going to say that because we live in a corrupt world and um, we go out every day, we see things, you know, then coming back, we need to, you know, like renew our mind, pray to God, come back to God, you know, not just going out there and not doing um, nothing, you know. Praise God. I was going to talk about sanctification every day uh, anyway. Because we are not where we are until we get to heaven. But now we are still going through sanctification. And, you know, because of the world we live in, we, we commit sins or we see things around. So we need to constantly go back to God and renew our minds. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise the Praise Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Yeah, uh, just to bring out some points uh, on what Miss Anne and uh, Mrs. Olumefon has just said. Yeah. Why do we need to renew? I mean, to remind ourselves and then, uh, um, is one so that we don't go astray from the word of God as we've already known. As a child of God, you let the word, the renewal of the word of God in your heart every time to direct your path, to guide you so that. You make a difference among others. When people see you, they see the true God in you. And whenever you want to do anything, because you are listening to the word of God day in, day out, you renew your heart day in, day out. That will be like a checkpoint for you. That will be checking you that mm -hmm. you are a child of God. You are not supposed to get involved in this you want to do. So that is my point. Thank Thanks. you so much, Ma. And I will just quickly add on to what um, everyone, um, Auntie Misha and Auntie Vicky had said. Now, um, there's a statement that says that what we repeat, we remember. And when, you know, they, they say something about false, uh, falsehood, that when, when you repeat something that is instantly, it turns to a truth. All right, so from that point, I wanted to say that what we constantly focus on, constantly look at, constantly think about, constantly being taught, constantly listening to, is what we're going to become. Yeah. So, so the, the benefit of constantly being um, listening to the word of God, it makes us become it because it then becomes the truth. It then becomes what you have, because when you hear it constantly, you it will just stick to you, sticks to your mind. And, and I remember there's this scripture that um, um, they were telling the children of Israel that we should write the word of God, put it on our doorpost, put it everywhere, put it on this, put it on that, so that when we constantly see it, we will not forget it. Mm. It's just for retention purposes. Thank you, Lioness. Thank you, everybody. Uh, let's just go to the uh, the... All right. So why do we need to constantly remember ourselves, remind ourselves about this? As we all said, because we don't listen every time. We are sometimes inattentive. Maybe we are distracted by social media. Sometimes the people are so much engrossed with Facebook, you know, those kind of things. Twitter. So these are the things, the little, little things that we, we don't really, we, we, we just take it for granted that, okay, let me just quickly. Some people, when you wake up sometimes, some people just grab their phone as if it's something so special. It's good. But if, if we, we give too much attention to something like that, then sometimes maybe too, too much of activities in the church, you know? Some people, they are just engrossed with activities in the church. They don't listen to the word of God. When it is word of God time, they will rather call someone, come, let's go and talk. You know, let's do some. It's good like uh, Martha did and Mary with Jesus Christ. So that, all those kind of activities, 
it takes too much attention for some people so that they won't focus to the main thing and to the word of God. Then the next one says, because as women beings, some of us are, some of us are tend to forget things easily. Yes, we learn differently. Some people learn by audio, some people learn by visual, some people learn by pictures. Some people just want to just do the practical for them and you see the way they will grab it. So we all learn differently. And because we do not all have the same capacity for learning, learning things, yes. Some people need to hear it again and again before they fully get it. Yes, we are, we are, we are very, very, we have different learners. People learn different things in, in different times. But some people, you just need to be telling them about that word of God, giving them that scripture, giving them pictures for them to see, giving them practicality like what we always do in Bible study that we, we need to pour our heart, we ask questions. These are the things. And these are the things that change some people's orientation, change some people's life. And I pray God will help us in Jesus' name. So let's go to the next slide because of our time. How does God help us to remember? Through, as we said, through, through sound Bible teachers. Yes, example at our Bible study. Paul said to Timothy, you will be doing your duty as Christ's mind if you remember your church members of these things. Yeah, these are true Bible, te uh, sound Bible teachers. You know, when you go to some places, you see, you see that they don't, they don't really take too much attention for Bible study and for children department. Think of our children department. You know, these are the key word. If our children have that solid foundation, by the time they grow up with it, you know, they will be, they, they will have that sound mind. And these are the thing we need to do. Sound Bible teachers is very, very scarce nowadays. A, little, a lot of people, they prefer doing the prayers, pray, praying, praying, praying. It's good to pray. But if we don't have the knowledge of your salvation, the knowledge of that word of God rooted in you, there's no way uh, you, can just, uh, you, you can just pray. At the end, some people, they won't see the results of that prayer. So the next one, through the Holy, Holy Spirit, Jesus said the Holy Spirit will teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance. Oh, I love this chapter. John 14, 26. The Holy Spirit, the comforter, is the, the Bible says it's going to teach us all things. So what are you looking for? What are the things? Is it the small things, how to cook or how to do anything or how to read your book, how to do your assignment? Just pray to God. Holy Spirit, just give me an idea what to do. Next slide, please, Pastor. How does God help us to remember? Okay, the last one, true personal Bible meditation. Like we sell John 1, 8. We all know that Bible passage. Can we go to the next slide, please? An example of reminder given by Jesus. Yes, the Holy Communion, which we always do. When Jesus had the Last Supper, he specifically told the disciples, do this in remembrance of me. So every time we partake in the Holy Communion, we are reminding ourselves of the, certificate, of the significance of death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. We, 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 we just have to have that mind intentionally, not that we are doing it, okay, uh, because we are just doing it, uh, let me just drink it and drink the wine and take the bed. No, we have to know that we are doing this thing. To, 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 to let our mind get closer to God so that we can remember what the death and the burial and the resurrection of Jesus Christ has done for us. The next slide. Yeah, our personal reflection question. How often do you remind yourself other about the things in the scripture? So... Uh, I don't know, maybe we should just discuss it or we should just, just think about it. So, but I'll, I'll just make a point with that one. How, how often do we remind ourselves? You know, sometimes even when you're talking with your husband, you know, instead of you chatting, uh, saying something that is not relevant, you can use that word of God, you know, when you read one passage, the other passage, you can come together and begin to rub your mind and begin to talk about the word of God. That's one of the things. Or call one sister, one brother, just to, you know, something that that, that thing will give us that uh, close relationship to God. Then during Holy Communion, do you remember Christ's death for 
for you on the cross. You know, that is the Holy Communion. Let's take it seriously, please. These are the things God is using for us. Yeah, Pastor, I've done a lot of uh, suggestions on that topic. So I just want us to have that mind that coming to Bible study every day is not just coming sick. I'm going there to renew my mind. I'm going there to refresh my mind. And I pray God will give us the grace and the power to do more in Jesus' name. Oh, 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 oh,